The information given on this channel is for entertainment purposes only. Not financial advice. Before you do anything in this video or on this channel, please ask a professional. Hey there! Have you ever wondered if your financial habits are shaping your child's future? Are you unintentionally setting them up for financial struggles? Don't worry, you're not alone. Many parents make common mistakes that could be hurting their children's financial well-being. But there's good news, today, we're going to uncover those mistakes and find solutions together. Ready to transform your family's financial future? Let's dive in. Hello everyone, welcome back to Denzel Vienna. And today we're discussing the 15 costly mistakes parents make when they have children. Let's ensure you're not passing on bad money habits to your kids. Mistake number one, telling them it doesn't matter what you do as long as you're happy. The first mistake is telling them it doesn't matter what you do as long as you're happy. Of course, we all want our kids to pursue their passions, but this can give the impression that financial stability isn't important. It's great to encourage children to follow their dreams, but we need to balance that with teaching them the importance of financial independence and security. For example, they can explore their passion while developing a side hustle or learning how to manage a stable job. We need to help them find that balance between fulfillment and financial reality. Mistake number two, showing them that debt is normal and making minimum payments is okay. Showing them that debt is normal and making minimum payments is okay. Debt can be a useful tool, but it's crucial to understand its long-term consequences. Parents sometimes model poor financial behavior by carrying credit card debt or paying just the minimum balance each month. This sets a bad example, showing kids that living with debt is acceptable. Instead, teach your kids about the importance of paying off debt quickly and understanding how interest accumulates. This way, they grow up knowing that while debt is sometimes necessary, it should be managed carefully and not relied on. Mistake number three, modeling poor work ethic. Another mistake, modeling poor work ethic. Children observe and mimic their parents' behavior, so if they see you being unmotivated or slacking off, they might develop a similar attitude toward their future careers. On the flip side, showing your children the value of hard work, dedication, and persistence can help them develop a strong work ethic of their own. Actions speak louder than words, so it's essential to be consistent and diligent in your professional life. Your kids will pick up on these positive habits and carry them into their adulthood. Mistake number four, encouraging them to take out a student loan without understanding the consequences. Encouraging them to take out a student loan without fully understanding the consequences. Higher education can be expensive, and many parents assume their children will just take on loans without thinking twice. However, it's important to prepare them for the financial burden that comes with student loans and to consider alternatives, like scholarships, savings plans, or even working while studying. Start saving early, even if it's a small amount, to help ease their financial burden when they reach college age. Encouraging them to understand the long-term impact of student loans will help them make more informed decisions. Please subscribe and visit my channel, as there are many valuable videos about investing in cryptocurrency, stocks, real estate, or bonds. There are also about making money, being financially free, and managing your money. Thank you so much for this. Let's continue. Mistake number five, not opening a bank account for them early. Not opening a bank account for them early. A personal bank account teaches kids about money management, budgeting, and the value of saving. By opening an account for them at an early age, you're helping them understand basic financial concepts, like how interest works and the importance of balancing their income and expenses. Start simple, with a savings account, and gradually introduce more complex financial tools as they grow older. Mistake number six, buying them a car. Next mistake is buying them a car without any financial contribution from them. While this may be necessary in some locations, it can create financial dependency. Giving them a car without asking them to contribute may send the message that big ticket items are easily obtained. Instead, encourage them to save up or contribute to the cost of the car. This gives them a sense of responsibility and ownership. They'll appreciate the value of what they're getting and develop a better understanding of financial goals. Mistake number seven, handing them money whenever they ask. Handing them money whenever they ask. While it's natural to want to provide for your children, always giving them money without requiring any effort in return can prevent them from learning the value of hard work. Instead, establish an allowance system based on chores or tasks. This teaches them that money is earned, not just handed out, and it helps them develop a strong work ethic. Over time, they'll learn how to manage their income, budget for the things they want, and save for the future. Mistake number eight, allowing them to hear about your financial worries. Allowing them to hear about your financial worries. 
It's essential to model responsible financial behavior for your children, but oversharing your financial stresses can backfire. It may internalize your worries, leading to anxiety and a scarcity mindset, which can hinder their relationship with money in the future. Instead, try to model problem solving and financial planning. Show them how to tackle financial challenges without creating unnecessary stress. Mistake number 9, fighting about money with your partner in front of them. Moving to the next point fighting about money with your partner in front of the kids. This creates a negative association with money and teaches them that finances are a source of conflict. Children may grow up believing that managing money is stressful and contentious. Instead, show them how to have calm, constructive conversations about money. Discussing your financial goals and plans together, in a positive manner, can help them develop a healthier perspective on money management. Mistake number 10, avoiding conversations about money. This mistake avoiding conversations about money. It's common for parents to shy away from talking about finances, either because they feel uncomfortable or because they want to shield their kids from adult concerns. However, open conversations about money can be one of the most valuable lessons you can teach your child. Talk to them about budgeting, saving, and planning in a positive light. The earlier they start learning, the better equipped they'll be to handle their own finances as adults. Mistake number 11, tying all fun activities to money. The mistake number 11 is tying all fun activities to money. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that spending money is the only way to have fun. However, kids need to learn that some of the most enjoyable experiences don't come with a price tag. Teach your children that creativity and resourcefulness often lead to the best memories. Try family activities that don't involve spending money, like hiking, visiting a park, or having a game night. Mistake number 12, impulse buying. Next mistake is impulse buying. Children learn by observing, and if they see you making impulsive purchases, they're likely to adopt the same behavior. Teach them to plan their purchases, prioritize their needs, and understand the value of saving up for something they want. By helping them delay gratification and make informed buying decisions, you'll teach them financial discipline that will benefit them in the long run. It takes less than a second and helps a lot if you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. You can also help by sharing my videos with your friends or family. Thank you so much for this. Mistake number 13, giving into the clothing and makeup epidemic. Children, especially teenagers, can easily get caught up in consumer culture, feeling pressured to buy the latest trends in clothing, makeup, or gadgets. It's important to teach them that their self-worth isn't tied to material possessions and that they should value individuality over following trends. Encourage them to think critically about their purchases and to make decisions based on their personal preferences, not just what's popular. Mistake number 14, teaching them to be polite about money. This mistake, teaching them to be polite about money. While it's important to be respectful, children also need to learn how to be assertive when it comes to their financial needs and self-worth. Being too polite can lead to them underselling themselves or avoiding financial discussions altogether. Encourage your children to speak up about their financial expectations, whether it's negotiating their salary or discussing financial agreements. Confidence in these conversations is key to ensuring they don't undervalue themselves. Mistake number 15 Buying things just because they are cheap. Lastly, mistake number 15, buying things just because they are cheap. Sometimes, parents try to save money by purchasing inexpensive items, but this can lead to spending more in the long run if the quality is poor. Teach your children the principle of quality over quantity. Investing in durable goods may cost more upfront, but it's often more economical in the long term. Encourage them to research and understand the value of investing in higher quality items that will last longer, rather than constantly replacing cheaper alternatives. Remember, your child's financial future starts with you. Every decision, habit, and conversation about money forms their financial blueprint. Equip them with the knowledge and confidence to navigate their financial future successfully. Stay wise, stay healthy, and until next time, remember, the future isn't just something you inherit, it's something you create. You can also watch like this video show on your screen. Like this video? Subscribe to our channel for more tips on financial literacy and creating a prosperous future for your family. Thank you for watching.